Rina Nyhaus, born on 18 December 1954 in Oldenburg, is a German film actress. Rina Nyhaus was a minor star in 1970s Italian genre cinema, also appearing in several important auteur films such as Alberto Lachuata's Cure di Cane and Arapando Visconti's La Orca and later, Oedipus Orca. These are my best eight movies for Rina Nyhaus. At number 8. The Barons, 1975. Leopoldo Lalumera, the grandson of a wealthy 84-year-old baron, infuriated during a galactic convention with a prosaic maid, discovers, on the eve of the wedding with his cousin Maria Antonia, that he has become impotent. At number 7. Chao Sial Troni. 1979. Matteo invites his three historical friends to spend the end of the year in the family hotel in Civitanova Marche. Luca is the man of letters of the group, the next writer. Andrea is an unemployed mechanic, looking for his father who disappeared in Africa. Saro, to hide the problems of his life, is a joke writer and always looking for sentimental adventures. At number 6. Desperate Crimes, 1993. Two rival families are warring for control of the local drug and prostitution trade. An innocent young woman, Elizabeth Caton, is killed, leading her boyfriend, Van Quattro, into the seedy underworld seeking revenge. At number 5. Il Maestro di Violino, 1976. The violin teacher at the Perugia Conservatory in Italy is loved by his female pupils and the rich ladies in town. Later we learn that he was a great concert soloist and had to give up his career because of his drunkard wife. At number 4. A Second Hand Lady, 1977. The young Luca grew up with his uncle Augusto, owner of a shoe store. The latter, determined to start the clumsy nephew sexually, takes him to a brothel in Florence and throws him into the arms of the stupendous prostitute Marina, with whom Luca falls hopelessly in love. At number 3. Fancy a Woman, 1978. Bruno and his young African wife have fun recording their lovemaking on camera and then watching it afterward. However, for some mysteriously technical reason, their recording is broadcast to their entire building, and their neighbors become their spectators. At number 2. Damned in Venice, 1978. When the grandmother dies in a freak accident caused accidentally by Mark, he and Christine go to live in a rundown hotel in Venice owned by their sickly aunt and depressed uncle. When the aunt dies, the uncle kills himself and the kids are left to their own devices. At number 1. La Orca, 1976. A teenage girl is kidnapped by three guys and taken to an abandoned house in the country and make her writes her own ransom letter. She soon discovers that one of her captors is infatuated with her and she will use those feelings to stay alive. Hey there folks, thank you for watching to the very end. Please always stay tuned, subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.